Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. It is time to go over the Queen Zara Chapter 1 Blossom Era Saga. Man, this is exciting. Let's see what we have here. Zara Tree of Life. We're honestly not even going to focus on about it. Let's just get right into the saga. As always, I'm going to complete the easy dungeon on my own and then I will sell this Zara, use my own Zara to complete the medium and hard dungeons. Alright, let's play through. Let's see what's all the buzz, who's going to be the main villain, the main enemy in this brand new saga. Alright, so she's surrounded with all her forest friends. This is the most beautiful the forest has ever been seen. I completely read that wrong. It goes beyond the limits of the forest. I can feel it. The force of nature have awakened. I should go out and explore at the reach of the ritual. Be careful, War Master. We've expelled the barbarians from the forest, but we don't know where they might be now. Don't worry, Goldfield. I've never felt more protected than I feel right now. Meanwhile, you have Enrica and Goldfield all corrupted or metro metropolized or whatever era they were in. See, I already forgot. That's how much we have different eras in Monster Legends. All right, so let's click. And I'm assuming she's going to run into an opponent or, oh, no, maybe this is where she gets the nectar. Oh, there it is. Yeah, hold on. What's this? I've never seen this plan before. It emanates such a sweet scent. Is that how you spell that word? And it's and it's dripping some kind of nectar. And so that is how she transforms into Queen Zara. Which I gotta say, I really love the monster sign. What do you guys think about her? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What are you guys' thoughts on Queen Zara? Alright, what, what has happened to me? The sap inside my veins feels different. Where is that? It's disappeared. The plant has disappeared. It's as if it had materialized before my eyes, giving me its nectar, and then just vanished. This must be another effect of the ritual. I must go outside the forest now. Now that she's all buffed. Wait, why is there two cutscenes on two different nodes? SP should have just done one cutscene. What the heck? Okay, Count Vlad. Oh, that's why. It's a whole different lore. Did you summon me, Count Vlad? Yes. I wanted to ask you something. I just received an unexpected visit from a friend. He says that he has suffered what can only be described as a blackout of death magic. Now, I couldn't consider myself a paranoid monster, but I have a feeling a certain fragility in the last certain in the last hours. You're the expert in this type of magic. What happens to be our type of magic? And since you're my house guest, I'd appreciate your insight. Have you felt it too? Indeed I have. However, I'm afraid I don't know what's happened yet. I'll investigate. Wait, I'll come with you. Count Vlad and War... Oh my gosh, guys. Necromancer. As you wish. This is... Necromancer is probably my favorite War Master. Uh, maybe next to Ragnarok. So if we get a version of War Master Necromancer, a Blossom Necromancer, which kind of sounds weird saying. Like, there should be a Dark Arts Saga. That's what we should have. That sounds a lot cooler. But if we had a Blossom Necromancer, I, I would love it. I would love it. Also, it's March, let's see, March, January, February, March, April, May, June, all of March, all of April, all of May, all of June. I wonder, so June is the Social Point uh, Monster Legends birthday month. I wonder if they're going to do something like, I always tell myself like, oh, they're going to wait till June to release a new era. I doubt it because that would only be three full months of it. So they're probably going to wait. Um, all the eras have been at least four months long. So... Yeah, I'm just trying to think like what's next. I know we just got Blossom Era, but I'm already thinking like what's next? Who, what other War Master are we gonna face? What's what? What does SP have up their sleeve? What are they gonna do for the Christmas of, for the Christmas? Sorry, for their birthday event, man. All right. So sometimes when you kill a monster, I think if you OTK it says disintegrated, and then maybe if you, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen destroyed or something else. I always have it at four times speed, so I can never read the pop ups. But I know I've seen disintegrated, and I feel like I've seen something else. All right, so we're going to take on some barbarians soon enough. Darmid's bodyguard. All right, let's see. I am super buff thanks to the... Thanks to the... Yeah, disintegrated. Thanks to the nature beast, I am just destroying left and right. Disintegrated. All right, remember to spin the roulette wheel. Super important. You get amazing rewards. Golden Edges Pass, best value in the game. You get so much out of this. I got five... No, one silver relic. I was close to the five gems. Alright. Alright, since we had two cutscenes back to back, now it's a while before cutscenes. Bardroke, War Spells, Shork, Boom, Boom, Boom. 
fructose lever. It also disintegrated. Cool, cool. All right, let's see what we get here. Spin that wheel, and we are getting three. Nope, 30K. 30K food. It is what it is, what it is. All right, let's click fight. Let's auto and let's yeah so the maybe i should just what do you guys think should do you guys want to see me do the battles or should i just make a video of only the cutscenes because the battles especially since it's an easy mode it's it's they're so straightforward i guess it's filler and you get to see what i get when i spin the roulette wheel but if you guys want i will just do the cutscenes and that way you guys don't have to see me battle the monsters because i really don't know what to talk about during the monsters. Um, I guess I can talk about my thoughts on the new era as of right now. Yeah, so that's the only relevant thing. So as of day one of the Blossom era getting released, I'm not a fan of most of the monsters, if I'm being honest. Um, my favorite one is the Aero Shop monster, who unfortunately, I'm like, I don't want to pay extra money for her. Um, yeah, but she has trade disable, extra train cleansing, uh, Cleansing, well, positive effect removal from the enemy, negative effect removal from yourself with an ET. Trade disables, I mean, she's good. She dies, she comes back to life with Revival Essence. But do I want to dish out more money? No, of course not. I only ever buy the Golden Legends Pass because it is the best offer in the game and it helps you for that whole entire month. You get a rank 3 monster. And funny enough, I wasn't a fan of, of Queen Zara, but having used her with the Nature Beast, she's actually quite deadly, so I don't mind her at all. Alright, back to this. So this is where you've landed. How? How did you do it? You used magic. You didn't think that the creatures of the forest wouldn't defend themselves against barbaric chaos and destruction, did you? I fainted and when I woke up I was here at the edge of the forest. And so were all my troops. This, that means we did something well. That means you're weak. You used some sneaky magic tricks instead of fighting with honesty. Oh. So fighting is the only language you speak? Well, or then we can fight. <laughs> in a real battle, Darmouth would win since he has the elemental advantage, especially once SP increases multiplier. Right? Fire beats nature. But since I have a buffed out 150, I'll destroy you. Sugar Rush, Life Blossom. Oh, there she is. Naradia. Yeah, she's, she's incredible. She's my favorite so far of the Blossom era. And I'm actually really going to liking to Queen Zara. Everyone else, though... Um, not impressed. Like, Mr. Beast has two massive attacks. One's water, one nature, so super useful when when you're taking on different monsters. But at the same time, like, in the long term, he's not going to be meta. I'm not going to invest in him. I'm not going to use him. Um, I might have to for Uncup Survival Dungeon, but yeah. I hope you've learned your lesson, Dar- Oh, no, 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 no. I got to replay it. I'm sorry, guys. I need to replace it. Replay it. I hope you learned your, me your, um, your lesson, Darmouth. That was the last thing we heard. Yeah, so anyways, I, I can just literally play through this fighter on my own. Maybe do a little, like, I don't know, one minute speed battle if you guys want to see it. Ooh, Nectar. And then I can just replay at the end before we end. Um, that way it could all be together. And it's not just part by part. Unless you guys like seeing node by node, we could do that too. I hope you've learned your lesson, Darmith. From now on, you'll respect the forest and its inhabitants. We're not afraid of you barbarians. That's not kind of rude. <laughs> now cross the mountains and go back home. Ah, uh, poor Darmouth. Poor Darmouth. All right, let us continue. All right, click on fight and auto. Uh, who else do we have? So we have Mr. Beast. Let me just pull up the stats sheet on everyone. Um, Silex, the PvP monster. I, as of the time recording this video, I haven't reviewed him yet. I'll be sure to do that later. Um, he has the highest power and the highest strength. Which I thought was interesting. SP gave the PvP monster the most buffed out stats possible for power and life. Um, Aunt Leary on the Marathon Monster, um, I'm not a, I mean, uh, it's better than Torvox. Like, Torvox is probably the worst that we've seen so far, because Stamina Drain just doesn't work. Um, Aunt Lyrian did have access to CDA and Roots, which at least can be used against Dodge Area Monsters, and I don't know why Roots was bypassing into Control. If it actually gets to bypass it, if that's an intended consequence of it, that's awesome, but I think if a monster immune to Control, they're probably going to be immune to Roots. Uh, let's see. So right now I'm iffy on him. I like him more than I dislike him though. But at the same time, see, uh, deny monsters aren't really gonna get used in the long term. Uh, Rock Arc Druid. What I liked about him is I haven't tested him yet, but he has at rank three, 
a sunburn at the start of the battle, which I think is so cool. It reduces the accuracy at the start of the battle by 15%. So he he's interesting. I didn't think SP would actually do sunburn status caster. I'm pretty sure there's been other monsters that have sunburn. Uh, yeah, but that's probably what I like the most about him. I think he's also a denier. Again, I haven't had a chance to use him. But deniers in this meta, they, they really, unfortunately, just do not work out. Yeah, they do not work out. So Antlerian, Torvox. Yeah, Torvox, just no. He's the only one to have a single element. He's only a Thunder element. I think that's an advantage with this damage multiplayer that got changed. But he, he's just not a good monster, so definitely can't recommend him. Uh, we talked about Mr. Beast, Silex, Neradia, Rock Arc Druid, Queen Zara. Yeah, we, so yeah, we've gone through them, honestly. Oh, the talents! We can talk about the talents! The talents haven't been anything impressive. Um, the hair, which is supposed to be like Demon Slayer, or Demon Slayer, <laughs> it's supposed to be like Demon Wings, except it's cut in half the amount of HP your monster needs to have. Instead of 50%, it's 25%. I wonder why SP did that. Like, how many players even ran Demon Wings? Because that trigger, it's it's hard to make that to trigger. You know what I will say, though? The hair actually makes a lot more sense. No, wait. I was going to say, if you do a 1% life revival with Uriel, but that the same applies for Demon Wings. Um, yeah, but that's only the way I could see it. If you run the revival skill on Uriel that revives your monster with 1% life, that's how you're utilizing the hair. Otherwise, you're in trouble. But then the problem is, if the enemy monster has any shield that damages you, any... Um, yeah, like, you know how some monsters die and then deal damage to everyone? Then you're, you're going to end up losing the monster again. In a war scenario, you lose a coin, so that's not a good thing. Maybe you're attacking someone that has just, like, a Morgz armor, and then you take residual damage, a Hyrule shield or something. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling the hair. And again, it, it's supposed to be, like, a kill streak. It's supposed to be, like, Demon Wings. It's supposed to be, like, UA. But I think SP realized they made UA way too powerful, that they had to nerf. But they, they super nerfed for this era. Um, everything else, there's been nothing too crazy. There's stuff that gives you shield, there's stuff that deals random damage to the enemy, dark damage. Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see for future, um, has there always been 28 nodes? We're just gonna have to wait and see for future, for future stuff to get released, because so far, mm, mm This is worse than I thought. It's disturbing. The citizens of Monsylvania are disoriented, and this graveyard's a mess. What are these bright colors? I've never seen anything this depressing. The magic of life seems to have taken over the entire region. It's unbalanced. Well, we must do something about it. Oh no, it's stuck. Well, we must do something about it, says Count Vlad. Alright, we're gonna have to come back to this. I think I'll probably just make it to the end and then we'll we'll finish. Yeah, we will come back to it. Alright, Master. So so we talked about the new Blossom Monsters. Yeah, so these two right here. I, I, I actually genuinely like them. Um, I might... <sighs> I don't know if I should buy her. It's still... I still have time to do the rank-up survival dungeon. I kind of want to do, like, a first-day attempt using them and just start getting some solids for them. I don't think I'll make it far. Maybe, like... Probably Node 13 is probably as far as I would get. Because we're missing, like, a tank monster, someone to taunt, someone to mega taunt, someone to protect my monsters. So I'd have to go raw damage output. They both have revival lessons, which is a cool thing, though. So if they die, they come back to life. But I, I think probably Node 13 is as far as I could get... I also think you need three monsters, if I'm not mistaken, to be able to play it, so that's another issue. Unless I speed Mr. Beast up, I have enough cells to craft and hatch. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll do that. First day, rank up survival dungeon. Alright, let's see. Missions, pets. Trade disable, disintegrated, disintegrated. Um, let's do fructose lover, L-O-N, reverse healing. Cool, cool. Spin this roulette wheel. Nice spin. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? 50k food. Alright, 26k. Let's do that. Fight. Auto. And... Good. Good. Ooh, Faraday. Imagine we get a Faraday. A Blossom Faraday. He, he could probably be really good. He'd have permanence as a patient. He could probably be pretty good. All right, let's spin this wheel and let's see what we get. 25k ele or 25k elementium, 25 elementium. All right, so before we go there, we got to replay this one. All right, this is worse than I thought. It's disturbing. The citizens of Monsylvania are disoriented, and this graveyard's a mess. What are these bright colors? I've never seen anything this depressing. The magic of life seems to have taken over the entire region. It's unbalanced. 
Well, we must do something about it. Hold on a sec. Isn't isn't it your fellow Warmaster? How strange, she rarely leaves the forest. Good evening, Count Vlad. And my dear Necromancer, it's always a pleasure to see you. It's mutual, dear Zara. I must say, you look stunning. Flourishing, I'd say. Thank you. That's probably true and literal. Something happened to me as I walked out of the forest. Interesting. Something's changed here as well, but not in a good way. Interesting. Really, this graveyard looks more beautiful than I can remember. To your taste, I suppose. Do you by chance have anything to do with this? Our magic seems weaker than it should. Well, back in the forest, we did a ritual to banish barbarians. We awakened the forces of life and nature. That's it. The forces of life have caused a blackout of death magic. I am very sorry that this has affected you. Surely there's something you can do to revert it. Revert it? Absolutely not. Interesting. You must understand that what we did, uh, we had to do to defend ourselves. The situation was critical. In that case, I'd want you to be ready to face the consequences. I'm, I'm very, I'm a very understanding and patient count. I can give you time to go back to the forest to, and fix this. <laughs> Look at him walk slow mo. Oh my gosh. Um, but I've heard from uh, from other dark monsters, and I can assure you, not everyone is a patient or benevolent as me and your fellow war master. Okay, interesting. Let's see what what is what is necromancer gonna say? Nothing. He just walked away. Okay, so you know what? I I actually feel bad for Count Vlad and Necromancer because if we take a look at the forest side, okay, great, they banished the barbarians, they saved themselves, but at the cause of the graveyard and poor Count Vlad and Necromancer, interesting. I'm on their side. They seem like the good guys to me now. <laughs> um, wait, oh, what's that giant coffin doing at the entrance of the forest? Help, help me, anyone. What's that voice? Who is there? Zara, is that you? Please help me. Neredia, are you speaking from inside the coffin? I'm scared. Hold on, I'm getting you out of there. Alright, so that explains why I'm taking him on. I wonder how this is going to end. So is she just going to transform? Alright, let's see. Boom, boom, and boom. And once again, I will be getting rid of Queen Zara, and then I will complete the medium and hard dungeon on my own. So, yeah, stay tuned for me to see that Zara Tree of Life talent and whether or not it's actually even worth. But just based on seeing it, eh, I'm a little iffy on it. All right, let's see how this ends. Play that final cutscene. And what happens next? I've never been more scared in my life. Oh, she's so tiny. Tell me everything. Okay. I was flying around the forest, admiring its beauty, when I noticed I was being followed. It happened very fast. I was surrounded by a halo of dark magic. I felt weak instantly. I turned around and I saw. Uh, I turned around and all I saw was a monster devouring me. <laughs> Good old elf. But he wasn't alone. There was someone else hiding in the shadows, giving him the orders. El Elfried used to work for Lord Nabotis. Interesting. So, I don't think Necromancer and Count Vlad are the villains of this. It was not Nabotis, that much I know. Nabotis' voice was deep and echoing. The other monster's voice was so strange, subtle, almost like a whisper, but not hesitant. This is very worrying. Our happiness has lasted only a couple of hours. We have to be careful to keep our eyes open. In the meantime, I'm going to protect you. When I was coming out of the forest earlier today, I came across a plant I had never seen before. It had the sweetest smell that I tried, and when I tried its nectar, I transformed and gained a kind of power that I never had. Come with m Hold on. This is it. It's just materialized. It wasn't here before. I've never seen anything like this. Come, drink its nectar. Hopefully, it will do for you the same thing it did for me. And so that is how she comes to be. That's how both of them have come to be, the first two Blossom Era monsters. And again, so far, from this era, they are both pretty good. I feel like a new fairy. No one will dare to try and kidnap you again. And so that concludes chapter one of the Blossom Era saga. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, do you guys think Count Vlad and Necromancer are behind this? Do you think they're the bad guys? I personally don't. I think they are just 
also affected, and they're probably going to team forces with Zara to take on the huge main threat, which we'll probably get more information on later on. What if it's like Noctum or something? He looks like he can be the villain. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about in the comments below. And of course, remember to subscribe.